think it's uh, important to take a, a bit of a different angle on this question and look behind trade-offs between the economy and public health in which we seem forced to weigh one against the other, just this sense that if we open up the economy, more people will die. Uh, there might be fa false trade-offs here because, for example, the government could employ or just subsidize the employment of uh, large numbers of currently unemployed people in jobs that would further public health. Uh, testing, contact tracing, care provision, all this uh, indeed could be part of a federal jobs uh, guarantee that would be uh, quite economically beneficial while promoting public health. On the other hand, if people aren't feeling uh, safe, if they feel like they're putting their lives at risk, they're uh, unlikely to engage in their usual economic activities if they can help it. So efforts to ensure public health and safety are necessary to ensure uh, economic vitality, whether businesses are open or not. I think we have trouble seeing uh, these things as anything but opposed because of the nature of our healthcare system and the nature of our economic system. When we're asked what has to give the economy or health security, we're envisioning a scenario Without a robust safety net, where large numbers of people remain without health insurance, without adequate access to health care, where they're denied paid sick leave, and so on. And we're presuming an economy that's already willing to sacrifice human well-being to the engines of profit. The disproportionately high death rates uh, from COVID-19 among low-wage workers uh, in food provision, transport, health care, et cetera, make that clear, working conditions are unsafe, workers aren't paid enough to live uh, in anything but cramped and overcrowded housing, they can't afford to stay home when they're sick, and so on. So before we start weighing up the respective risks, I think we ne need to ask some uh, bigger structural questions. How might things be fundamentally changed to avoid such trade-offs? I think raising such stru structural quest questions is necessary if we're to act towards one another in the way God acts towards us as our creator and redeemer. God doesn't intend our lives to be organized as zero-sum games, uh, uh, and we need to do whatever we can to avoid, uh, to avoid them.